Man, <laughs> Microsoft is killing off nearly all of their certifications, like just gone. Let's talk about that. So let's just call this Microsoft Certpocalypse because starting June 30th, 2020, which is this year, all the MCSA, MCSD, and MCSE certifications are gone. They're killing them off. They're murdering them, retiring. Sorry, you can't test on them after that date. They're going away. Okay, maybe you're thinking, not a big deal. They're going to replace them with something, right? <laughs> That's the more interesting part. We'll talk about that here in a moment. Uh, it's probably the craziest part of this whole thing. Now, this is kind of like Cisco's Apocalypse they just finished, right? Um, you can still get your MCSA, MCSD, MCSE before that date. So if you can hurry right now before June 30th and get all the required exams done, you get that certification. And if you get these certifications or you currently have them, starting June 30th, 2020, you'll have that as a valid active certification for two years. So you can put that on your resume, say it's active and good until June 30th, 2022. Now, what happens after that? Well, it's going to change into a retired state. Killed, murdered, dead, rip. What? You don't believe me? Let's go look at Microsoft's website right now. So here is the official blog post announcement. I'll, I'll link this below, but yeah, for sure. MCSA, MCSD, MCS, MCSE, a lot of, a lot of acronyms, all going away. And they're going to continue focusing on the role-based certifications. Now to kind of hit home how big of a change this is, look at what's retiring, look at what's going away. Let's scroll down to this list, which is hilarious, um, but also scary and terrifying. But look here, certifications with exams scheduled to retire on June 30th. All the big daddy ones, all the big ones. Um, you got Windows Server 2012, 2016, the MCSAs. I mean, that's that's so crazy. MCSE core infrastructure, business app, like all the big stuff is going away. And for all my Cisco peeps, um, the equivalent for an MCSA would be like the CCNA. So they're basically doing exactly what Cisco did. They're killing off <laughs> a lot of their associate level certifications. Now, each one of these certifications has a few exams you have to pass to you know, earn these. And here's a list of all the exams retiring. I mean, that's a bunch of stuff going away. Now, let's get back to what they're being replaced with. And the short answer right now is they're kind of not being replaced. Like if you're thinking about the traditional, I want to become certified in Microsoft uh, Server 2016 or, you know, whatever, that doesn't exist anymore. Those technology-based certifications are going away. It's more role-based focus now. So, like, and they answer that question down here at the bottom. We're not going to go over all the questions, but the one I want to focus on right here: If Microsoft is focused on role-based certifications, what will happen to Windows Server and SQL cert Server certifications? Will there be Windows Server 2019 and SQL Server 2019 certifications available? No. What? There will not be Windows Server or SQL Server 2019 certifications. Which is my, because we've always had that. We've always had the some server edition or SQL uh, edition to be certified in. And now we don't. It's going away. And you're probably thinking, well, then how can we verify our skills? How can we show people that we know server 2019? Like, that's important, right? Doesn't Microsoft care about that now? Kind of. <laughs> and I say that, I'm, I'm being serious because... Uh, as you can see here, it says Server 2019 and SQL Server 2019 content will be included in role-based certifications on an as-needed basis for certain job roles in the, here we go, Azure infrastructure. Let me get my pen out of the way because you can't read the rest of it. Azure apps and infrastructure and data and AI solution areas. So essentially, Azure, <laughs> the cloud is replacing everything. Not just in the real world, but also in certifications now too. What? Um, and, and they're essentially saying parts of what you need to know about Server 2019 and SQL Server 2019 will be included in whatever you need to know when you're studying for an Azure certification. That's what I'm getting from this. And what I'm really, I'm, I'm going to read into it, what I'm really getting from this is that what server? <laughs> Don't you mean just Azure VMs? Don't you just mean Azure SQL? <laughs> <laughs> this this is crazy. And then they have this graphic, their recommended path to Microsoft role-based certification options. And of course, um, if you look through here, it's all cloud-based certifications from Azure Administrator Associate, Solutions Architect, you know, all Azure stuff, then Teams, cloud-based, um, 365, cloud-based. Uh, it's the future's cloud. We, we knew that, but now the certifications are reflecting it. It's, it's crazy. And then just to show you one more page to hit this point home, um, here's the Microsoft certifications homepage, and um, here are the options. They're role-based, and if I click on one of these, let's say if I want to be an administrator, there's my certification options. The recommended path, take the Azure Fundamentals, the AZ900, 
than the Azure Administrator Associate, which is the AZ, well, currently the AZ103. And then this guy, I don't know what his is. I think it's like 205 or something. Oh, it's right there at the bottom, AZ400. And you scroll down and look at all the Administrator Associate exams, the majority of them are cloud-based, Azure-based, 365 uh, Teams. And then here's their big certification poster. Uh, you know, here's all the certifications. Here's the path you can take. And again, uh, cloud, cloud, cloud. Um, and more specifically on the apps and infrastructure, which is more what I'm into, and also data and AI. Um, Azure Cloud. You got the AZ900. You've got the AZ103. I think you got the picture, right? Azure, Azure, Azure. So <laughs> Microsoft has really, um, they've shaken things up, haven't they? What do you think about this? Do you think this is a good decision? Do you think they're moving in the right direction? I mean, clearly the cloud is not going anywhere. It's actually, we're going to it. And um, I think it's a good step, but honestly, I'm just a little confused. We still have on-prem environments. We have servers that we have to administer. And how are you going to tell employers that you have those skills if all of their certifications are cloud-based? Obviously, Microsoft is pushing um, their certified individuals to the cloud, and I guess they're hoping that the trickle-down effect is that people will start to invest more in the cloud just because all their engineers are cloud certified. I'm, I don't know. I'm just assuming. So let me know your thoughts below. I think this is super fascinating. Uh, just wow. And if you want to start down the journey of where Microsoft is pushing everyone, I've got some links below to start your training. Um, I actually had the wonderful opportunity to create a training for the AZ900 and the AZ103, both certifications which I currently hold uh, on CBT Nuggets. So check out the links below for that. I had a great time creating that course or those courses. And then lastly, are you going to try and beat Microsoft Certpocalypse or Microsoft Apocalypse? Microsoft Apocalypse. No, I'm not sure that works. <laughs> let me know if you want a better hashtag. Uh, let me know if you're going to go for it. If you're going to try and get your MCSA and whatever discipline before June 30th, 2020. Gosh, it's like deja vu over here. I just said this about Cisco and now here we go, Microsoft. Who's next? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's really the only other big certification provider. So wow, the industry is changing. <laughs> and when our certifications reflect it, we know it's a big deal. And if you are going to try and beat Microsoft Certpocalypse before the date, uh, training below, CBT Nuggets has amazing training for the Microsoft Certs. So link below for that, or links below. Well guys, that's about it. Just wanted to give you that quick news update. Kind of, kind of huge news, big news from Microsoft. And um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just getting used to all these big things coming out, all these big certification mic drops. Um, it's exciting, I like it. I'm just hoping the industry moves with them. I'm hoping that everyone, including HR departments and hiring managers and, and managers in general, will start to look at these new certifications and start to look for people who are actually getting them um, because they're changing things quite rapidly. Well, anyways, that's enough of me talking. I will catch you guys later. Yeah, yeah.